Well, hello there everyone. And today I'm in the city, I'm in the city of Toronto. And I haven't been here in so long. I think the last time I was here, I had a winter coat or some some heavy heavy clothing so I would I would stay warm. And after that, that was it. I think it would have been last year in 2020. So it's kind of good to be here. Uh, I'm just parked over here at the side and I'm gonna be going out taking a look at some of the stores it's such a different vibe when you go to the city and you know just a few days ago I was up north up in Algonquin area and I spent a couple of days here a few days there I did some trails uh, hung out uh, did some cooking just relax you know retreat reset recharge reapply that kind of thing and today I'm here a completely different place where it's it's the city it's no forest no wilderness but city so it's actually exciting um, I feel like I'm in a toy store almost where there's just so many places to take a look now everyone is you know looks like they're social distancing you know they're wearing a mask a lot of people are wearing a mask there's only a few that are not wearing a mask but I would imagine when they go to stores they have to wear a mask because it's mandatory so in terms of that I think everyone is you know trying to be careful uh, the reality is it has changed the way we do things I need to be up north I need to be somewhere <laughs> isolated mr. solo camper that's me okay so uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attempt to uh, maybe make some pizza and at which point um, oh, look at that little dog and um, you know, I'll show, I'll show you how I'm going to make some pizza. I, I got some dough. It's a whole wheat dough. It's the only one I can get. I've got some cheese, um, uh, some some other ingredients that I've, I've poured into into containers that is much easier to work with versus working with uh, some big containers. Whoops. Oh, sorry about that. Versus working with big containers because there's not a lot of room here. So. Uh, that's one thing is I'm, I'm, I'm just setting up pillows here I set it up so that it's much easier to work with with smaller uh, smaller container sizes and you know what there's one thing I forgot I forgot my bowl I had this bowl that I had okay that's okay I know what to do and you know when I was talking to you guys about space and you can see here there's not a lot of space here and my kitchenette is literally that a kitchenette it's very tiny and what I've got here are the ingredients that we're going to be using for the sauce. So a couple of things to consider when making this pizza. There's two parts to it. The first part is the sauce. And then you have some cheese. I'm going to be grating some mozzarella cheese. I, I do have a grater. And then you have the dough. The dough, I, I'm not going to make from scratch. I just picked that up from Walmart, uh, a grocery store. Anyway, you can pick it up anywhere, Fortino's, wherever. And then, but it's the sauce that I'm going to make. Now you can buy sort of pre-made sauce, like the ragus and stuff like that. Uh, in this case here, I'm not going to do that. Uh, the sauce makes a huge difference in terms of how the pizza is going to taste. That's where I think where a majority of the taste is going to come from. Although dough, the dough also comes into play. And obviously your cheeses, you can have mixed cheeses. Uh, for now, it's just mozzarella. And then your ingredients. I don't have a whole lot of ingredients going to put on it. But uh, I'm going to go through some of the, the we're going to start with the sauce first, okay? The sauce, make the sauce. We're going to need a, a small pan for that. Um, and once we have the, the pan, we're going to just stir it in, stir it in the sauce with some olive oil, with some basil, some salt, you know, and I'll go through the ingredients with you. But the main thing is we're going to make the sauce first. And then in terms of the pizza, um, I don't have like a, um, like, the, like like an oven so what I'm going to use is I'm going to use the one of the aluminum aluminum pans that I have and we're going to use the, the little uh, casserole that I have to actually bake it in I've never done that before so this is completely brand new I'm in the city I'm parked here and I'm going to be making pizza see how this goes okay so here's our lineup so the first thing that we're going to have we're going to use is the sauce and you can get this anywhere any grocery store now this one here is uh, one of the better ones it's called passata and it's absolutely delicious 
but the reality is uh, you know unless you're a real connoisseur for this stuff they pretty much taste all the same to me and what we're gonna be placing in the with the sauce is I've got some black pepper we're gonna add some black pepper some basil salt olive oil garlic powder and this oregano I love oregano in my sauce now later on if we wanted to is we're gonna add some crushed chili peppers and I want to show you something about these little containers you know you'll notice they're all kind of different sizes and that's because I've reused containers uh, these ones here was from a I think it was from a burger uh, type of mix that 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 came with it and I, I used enough so that I was able to collect them and then I converted them into I'm using them for for spices at this time uh, this was a vanilla container I'm so glad I'm labeling it that it's actually not vanilla it's olive oil as per what it says there and garlic powder well this was this was some other container but I mean it's important to label it right so I don't have like a, a nice and neat and tidy uh, set of uh, containers for my spices. I'm just going to use this one here, you know, because it works. Maybe one day I'll pick some up and, you know, make a really cool spice rack somewhere. I was thinking if anything, I'd be, I'd put it up here. But for now, this is what we're going to be using. And one other thing, because I'm going to be making pizza for the next couple of days, I'm going to use the entire, the entire whatever's left there, the entire set of sauce. And then once it's cooked, I'm going to place it back in there and, and reuse it. And now you guys already know there's not a lot of space here. So what I've done is under these, these boxes here is a lot of my supplies. And behind that area there is a bowl, or rather a, um, a pot that I'm, going to, that I'm going to need in order to make the sauce. So I'm going to have to take all that stuff out, put it to the side over there, and... Yeah, just to get it. So it's gonna take a while. Not a while, but it's just one other thing. It'd be great to always have it available. But then again, I don't always make my sauces. Like I don't always uh, do fresh cooking here, but maybe I will. Maybe I'll sort of turn this into a little kitchenette, like expand the kitchenette, right? And have my, 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 my pots and pans ready. For example, this one here, that black thing over there, that's actually a, a Road Pro, Road Pro oven. And I, I've only used it half a dozen times so I probably won't even use it I can use that space for something else for maybe where I put my pots so I removed it I, I removed that little box there and it's just right over here I'm gonna open it up a bit oh, there we go here. let's take a look inside and here got my garbage there and then there is that green thing there that is there is the pot so I'm gonna reach in I'm gonna oh man what a pain Okay, here we go. So I've got this, right? And I've got this here. And you know what? You know what? I don't think I have that pot. Looks like here. Oh, you know. I don't know where it is. This is the closest that I've got, and I use that normally to boil my eggs. I thought it's okay. Well, we'll we'll make a small. We'll just make enough for this time around. So what I'm going to do next, I'm just going to wipe it down with some baby wipes and we'll get started very soon. And you know what? I just got an idea. How about I make a pan pizza? We can try that out, huh? I'll make a pan pizza instead. I think it's small enough and it'll definitely be much easier than a casserole. You know, we'll do the casserole thing maybe later on. I'm just going to make a small pan From pizza. From the top, we have our pot here. It's a little too small. And then we have this pan, and I've just decided at this time we're gonna make a pan pizza instead. And first, we'll make our sauce. And in order to make our sauce, I need to get this out, and I need to make sure I have my pot here, and um, I need to make sure that's about it that I've got the window at the front open and it's going to be safe to do this inside it's going to get really hot and i don't want to open up the side door because you know there's a bunch of people walking by i want to keep it as discreet as possible and so here's my current view right now 
just basically a building in Toronto. There we go. And then we go back up here and back to our show, back to our little cooking area here. Okay, so far so good. I've got my pot. <laughs> Usually I use this to boil eggs. I've got my pan, okay? And I've got the ingredients at the back there. And I can already tell you, uh, it's gonna get hot in here because I think it's about 28 degrees Celsius. And today there is a heat warning. And make sure, you know, like anything else, every time I do this, I always say, you know, make sure you have, you have proper ventilation. You know, ideally you're cooking, ideally you're, you're cooking uh, at the back of the van, uh, outside. That's what I normally do. I'm gonna cook this like this but right now I'm cooking inside I've got the back window open both of them are open as you would hope have them open in a, in a Dodge Grand Caravan I've got the front window open the one on the passenger side and then I've got the fan going so I've got some airflow going through and you know it's not that hot in here but I know the moment I turn that thing on it's gonna get hot now in terms of the sauce I'm just gonna make enough sauce so that it's good for one pizza so I don't have to make a lot I'm just gonna use one of my mugs to actually uh, pour it into. And I'm gonna use a, a camera angle using this little thing that I, that originally was the, the articulator for my AC hose, but I've since replaced it. So there's a video about that. And I think if I'm smart, or if I can, I'm going to include the link just at the top there. Okay, see that? I don't even know it's there, but I'm trying it anyway. To make it look like, you know, I know what I'm doing. But, uh, wow, it takes all kinds here, right? All kinds of different people. Okay, let's try this. Okay, guys, so this is that camera angle and it's using that articulator. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure I've got a clear area. I'm just gonna just do a quick clean up here. And whenever I have like the burner, whenever I'm gonna use the burner, I wanna make sure I have enough clearance around it because you know, you wanna make sure, uh, you know, you don't burn anything. Uh, the other thing is, uh, in terms of, in terms of um, cooking the van, uh, you know, make sure you have uh, a fire extinguisher. You have a, um, make sure you have a, what's it called? Hold on, what's that? Okay, I'm just gonna on. clean up here. I'm gonna place that there, place that there, and I'm gonna place this back over here. Well, that took a while. And so what I did was I just cleared it up. I put the cover back on and just have an, an area there where I can then place the burner. I'm just gonna place it where I could get to it easily. Okay, like that, okay. The salt, the olive oil, okay. Black pepper, garlic powder, the oregano. I love oregano. And the crushed chili pepper, I'm not gonna use it. I'm gonna place it right there. So I got ingredients here. Um, I've got this here. I'm gonna place it just above over here for now, okay? And then we'll bring our burner right well, there. Well, that one's a bit better, huh? There we go. And so first thing we're gonna start with is this. It barely fits, okay? It's actually, this pot is very small for that. So what I'm gonna do is, I don't need a lot of sauce on my, on my pizza. So uh, the amount of sauce I'm gonna put in here it's probably not going to be as as much, but you know I'm going to see if I can change the camera angle a bit more. I'm going to try something. Hold on. Nice. Actually, before I do any of this stuff, I should have like a spoon so I can stir it with, and maybe a place some somewhere I can place that spoon so that I don't get sauce all over my bill. There we go. I'll just use this. I've got my spoon and a bowl. And you know what else? We can use this bowl to store the sauce. Okay, here we go. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put some sauce in there. I'm not gonna put a lot, it's just gonna be enough for one, basically one pizza. A small one at that, it's gonna be like this size, the, the small one here. Oh, sorry, the, the pan that you saw earlier. So I'm just gonna estimate this. I'd say it's gonna take about that much sauce. Okay, that's a lot of sauce, okay. Once we have that, that aside okay next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the olive oil so olive oil okay I'm gonna throw that in and I'm 
I sat there. Olive oil, I'm going to estimate it. Oh, there we go. That's enough olive oil. Okay, olive oil. Put that aside. Put that here, you know. We'll put that here like that. So it looks, whoops, that's not good. Oh, maybe I should place it here. Okay, there we go. Is that the edge? The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a bit of salt, some salt. This is for the sauce that we're doing here. Now, you notice here the, the it's really huge. So I'm going to put it on my hand first, and I'm just going to put a bit, dab of salt. Not too much, otherwise it'll get too salty. And that's the salt. I'm going to add some black pepper. Some black pepper, same thing. This one doesn't even have a top, so there we go. There's a black pepper, like so. Black pepper, right, right over there. Next one is some basil. Okay, some basil. This one here. The top is big, but I don't mind. I like to have, I, think, I like want to put lots of basil. There we go. So there's some basil there. Oh, that was, that was a lot. See, that's a lot. A little too much, I think. Should be more careful. So that's that one right there. So, so far, we're just making some sauce. The other one I'm going to add is some oregano and oregano. Okay. And we are going to, there we go, add some oregano. And the thing is, it's not coming out, but the thing is, it's also like my fan is blowing away the oregano. It's so light. There we go. That should be okay. It's going to be good. Some oregano right there. So we had some olive. We had the sauce, olive oil, salt, black pepper, basil, and then we are going to place the oregano right here. Okay, and then I'm going to add some garlic powder. And um, some garlic powder right here. And just do this. Okay, garlic powder. And I'm just estimating a lot of this stuff, right? It's very difficult to do this wrong. I mean, you'd have to really go crazy. So once I've got everything, all I'm going to do next is get my spoon, right? And I'm just going to mix it, mix it all together like this. And then now it's going to be ready for the, to heat it up, okay? But the thing is, I'm going to have to continue this later on because I just remembered I've got an appointment in like, 15 minutes. So I'm just going to leave this as is and hopefully I don't have to drive away anywhere. I'll be right okay, back. Okay, and here's our little kitchenette here. Just making some sauce and I've got some of this. I put I had some sauce. I put it in the in the pot, this tiny pot here. And here are the ingredients that I'm working with right now. And I think it's ready for the burner, but I'm just about to go to an appointment. And so I'll have to continue this. So, to hey the guys, so you saw how easy it is to actually just put together some sauce, which is going to make the pizza taste amazing. And we're going to be making pan pizza. The next thing I'm going to do is actually grate some of the some of the cheese, the mozzarella cheese. I've got a small grate, and but before that happens, I'm going to heat up the sauce. But I'm going to put it aside for now because it wouldn't take that long to actually heat it up. I think um, the longest time, yeah, it wouldn't take that long to actually heat it up. So the longest time would be cooking the actual pizza. So for now, I'm going to do some cleanup because I don't think I'm going to use these. I'm, I don't. I'm not going to use these ingredients anymore. So I think it'd be smart just to clean it up and just leave the um, the sauce the way it is. And after my appointment, I'll come back and and heat it up. Probably Canadian. I love it. It's a different vibe than being up north, up in Huntsville, Algonquin, uh, GTA here, Toronto. And I'm in a Chinatown right now. All kinds of people here, some people wearing masks, some people not wearing masks, like myself. I'm on my own anyway, so I'm okay. 
but yeah pretty cool it's nice you know what looks like it's about to rain but I don't care cool everything off it, you know the weather is actually quite good I am just wandering around and you'll notice there's, a, there's like a lineup over there at that place called so I've been there before but I never seen a lineup and I would imagine it's because of COVID-19 that there's always a lineup somewhere they're limiting the number of people that actually go in I'm gonna try something here I notice that when when I smile at people here they kind of smile back you know so I'm gonna smile yeah, smile a lot of people this is, this is Toronto nice place uh, oh there friendly people they're all very friendly here Toronto is a friendly place I noticed that people kind of say hello and everything right you know they, if you smile if you smile they smile back it's interesting I, I probably look like a tourist here but we all know that's not true I just live about half an hour away and there we go Wow Chinatown I bet you there's Chinese food here and I love Chinese food. Police over there. Oh, there's cops over there. There we go. There we go. Okay guys, check this out. We're going to Dainties. Macaron and ice cream. Okay guys, we check this out. This is the macarons from Dainties and it's on Spadina in Toronto. And these look like about 10,000 calories each. I'm kidding, probably not. They're probably more like maybe 300 calories, but it doesn't matter. I'm sure they taste good. Wow, look how beautiful they are. Macarons. I'm not gonna eat any of this. And check out this place. I like the graffiti. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And it and it, it matches up to Big Trouble Pizza. And it's right next door to the macaron and ice cream place. Hey guys, I'm just walking. Look, Buster. I think those, that was the first set of buskers I've seen all year and I'm sure there'll be many more and um, I don't know what the laws are in terms of buskering in Toronto but those those guys sounded pretty good we'll probably see more as the year progresses okay so that's where I placed everything because I had to move my car rather my van and so that it doesn't spill I just use this collapsible little sink and that's been really handy I use it for everything and it has kind of replaced my current sink right now uh, this area is a bit louder and so hey guys so I had to move to a different spot and last we left it I was about to make the sauce rather heat it up but before that happens because you know heating up the sauce doesn't really take a whole lot of time but I think what will take more time is probably uh, the dough and making sure that it's actually uh, in place so what I'm going to be doing is we're going to be using the pan to actually uh, cook the pizza it's going to be a pan pizza and one of the things that we will need is some some butter and so I'm going to be putting some butter that way it's like we're frying the pizza I've never done this before and hopefully it'll work but uh, here I go 
Okay guys, so what I have here is the, the dough right now. And I can already tell you it's a bit overproofed, but that's okay. We're just gonna use a very small portion of it. I've got some cheese here. Okay, some mozzarella cheese, and I've got this grater. And I've got some ingredients that I'm gonna be placing on the pizza. Uh, I had prepared these beforehand. That way it saves a bit of time, but you know, you can also buy them already made. So let's start with the cheese and I need something to catch it with. Here, we'll just use this bowl, okay? Just use this bowl right here. Turn this off. So I turned off the, the fan. You can probably hear the traffic in the background. So we use our cheese. Now, I don't think this is the most optimal way to do this, but you know, don't really have much of a choice. This is the closest I'm going to get. So I'm going to wait some cheese. Make sure it lands in the thing there. A busker. There we go. All that cheese. Not a lot, but just enough for one for one pan pizza, I think. Place that aside for now, over here. The next one is we need to get our pan. This one here. And we're going to butter it. Butter it up, you know what I mean? Uh, because uh, that's where we're going to like fry or we're going to pan pizza at. And for this one here, I'm just going to use a, just a, a napkin the background here and I'm going to just do this kind of thing over here just gonna dab myself just get some you know like that on the napkin and then I'm gonna do this okay make sure right out to the side because we don't want it to stick right and then they also will act as a way to fry it so we got some over there but uh, I'm gonna do this get rid of it all that's good. So now it's nice and buttered up. Uh, this next part, um, I don't know if it's actually going to work because I've never done this before. Ouch. Hold on. It's got a whole bunch of butter on my fingers here. Mmm, it's good. Okay, so now we got this thing here. Okay. I'm going to take it out. And um, one thing is. The flour. That's okay. It's okay. I'm going to just get an estimate how big I think it should be. There we go. I'm going to shape it. It's about the size that I want. And I just estimated how much I needed. Um, it looks like this will probably be somewhat of a thick crust pizza. And it's a little difficult to stretch because it's it's all over the place. And it seems to be overproofed. There we go. So here, there we go. Wow, there we go. Size of the pan. There we go. That's gonna be a thick crust pizza. Here's what we've got. We've got our dough in this pan. We've got our cheese. We've got some ingredients. And now I just have to cook up the sauce. Okay, here we go. Let's turn on the flame. There we go. And we're going to just cook up the sauce. Granted, it's been sitting there for a bit. Leave that for a bit there. Now, really, I'm just heating it up. Put the flavors in. Okay. Try to do this with one camera. One hand holding the camera. There we go. Okay guys, so here we go. Um, we have the sauce ready right here. Okay, and we've got the pizza here. And again, it's it isn't it doesn't completely stretch. What we're making out. is like a pan style pizza. And we also have whoops. We also have back here we have the the cheese. Okay, so this is nice and hot. I'm going to just pour it on. Whatever extra we have is what we have. 
and that's definitely more sauce than than we need so we'll, we'll sort of save that one for later on and wipe this down for a bit here wipe that down okay there we go that out of the way and then we will use a spoon to just bring it all, all around to the edge there and what I'm going to try to do with the spoon is try to push out the, the dough. I don't want the dough. Wow, I don't know how this is going to work. I hope it works. It looks like it's going to work. Really, I'll, we just need some heat. That's all we really need. So this is the... This is the that's what it looks like. Okay. Looks good. Just maybe just neaten it up a bit. Here we go. Next step, I'm gonna put some uh, some cheese. Okay, there we go. Some cheese. We have lots of cheese. Okay, lots of cheese. There we go. No shortage of cheese. That's for sure. And we got that. Yeah, let's get the other ingredients here. I've got some sun-dried tomatoes. Sun-dried tomatoes. We'll put some sun-dried tomatoes like that. Like so. Okay. There we go. Sun-dried tomatoes. And Got some peppers here as well. Yes. Okay, put some olives. Why not? Not not a lot. Olives have their moment, and and their moment is coming today. So I feel like having some olives for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, and let's get a. Uh, salsa now I didn't cut the pepper okay I've got this giant piece of pepper and I I kind of running out of time so I'm just gonna I'm gonna rip it like that just bit by bit just ripping it off like like a savage yeah there we go yeah there we go Okay, there we go, okay. Well, I even have, I have a, one of these guys, mushrooms. So I'm gonna be another, like a savage again, I'm just gonna crack, crack it open and just rip it through. I'm gonna try just peeling it off. I, I, I'm not gonna cut it, I just don't have that Thing happening for me right now, and um, let's put in some one of these guys, a hot pepper, right here, and maybe right here, hot pepper. Okay, put that aside. Finally, to just add a bit of color to it. Right? I'm gonna add one of these leaves here. That should be nice. Okay, so actually here, let me just pop this like this. And I'll give you give you guys a nice camera angle of it. So we have it. So now I'm gonna put the ingredients back. And let's just do it a bit more of a sense there, so like that. That was weird. Some some guy just looks through my window. Well, if he wanted to, I, I'd share my pizza with him. I, I'm okay with that. I, I think he was more curious, like, 
who in their van is talking about pizza? Well, you know who in their van? Me, Mr. Silver Cabin. Okay, guys. So here's what I'm cooking up in my oh, van. What a disaster. Anyway, so here's what I'm cooking up in my van here. It's going to be like a pan pizza. Here I am making pan pizza in my van. Okay, here I am making pan pizza in my van. And my kitchenette's a bit of a disaster, but that's okay. And I am in the GTA, had to move spots, but I'm on, yeah, I'm in Toronto right now. And just making some dinner. I was gonna go to Cherry Beach, but uh, that didn't happen. That didn't happen at all, but that's okay. Make do. Pan pizza in my van. Okay. And my kitchenette's a mess, but that's okay. So now, the moment of truth. Will this thing cook? Looks good. Looks like it's gonna cook, but we'll see. So I'm gonna put it on low heat, like my dad always says, and see how this goes. We're literally frying a pizza. Okay guys, here we go. Firing it up now. Okay, and we're gonna put on low heat. Okay. And I'm gonna put the cover on. Looks really good. So what I'm gonna do is, I have some extra sauce, is I'm gonna add some, some additional sauce, just use up the, the one that I had. Let's put it on top like that. And we're going to have ourselves some additional sauce. It's actually still pretty warm. And I'll clean this up later. Okay. And uh, add some of the mozzarella. There we go. That's good. Use some mozzarella. I just ate some. Delicious. Okay. There we go. Now I'm just put this aside. Some dishes to wash. Um, take this off. It smells like pizza. But I want to tell you something as well. So here I am. I'm, I'm cooking in the middle of the city. Just parked at the side here. And I was able to create this in my van. I'm sure people kind of could smell something. Like in terms of somebody cooking. Maybe they know it's me because there, there was some guy that sort of came up and kind of looked inside. <laughs> Maybe he wants a pizza. I cheer with him. Okay, I'm going to cut this up and then I'm going to eat it. And here's what it looks like outside of the pan. And you can see it's slightly burnt at the bottom. But I can already tell you this is going to taste good. Mm. <laughs> That's so good. there you have it. Please support my channel by commenting and subscribing. It's free and it can help you with your own tiny home build as I will be giving out free tips and tricks on how you can make it happen. And if you believe someone else may benefit, please share the video of my curated playlist.